is a small ancient village on the southern bank of the Tungabhadra in Bellary district of Karnataka. It is a well-known pilgrimage center. It has been identified by some with the mythical Kishkinda Kshetra of the Ramayana. In historic times, Hampi, known as Vijayanagara, was the capital of Karnataka Empire and was famous for its magnificence and promotion of art and culture. The city is called Vijayanagara or the city of victory or Vidyanagara in the memory of Sage Vidyaranya who is said to have been responsible for the founding of the city and the empire. So let us now explore some most significant monuments of Hampi from the time of the Vijayanagara Empire. Hazara Rama Temple This small but highly ornate temple abuts the northwest corner of the king's palace enclosure. The name Hazara Rama might have been inspired by the thousand Ramas carved on the temple's walls. The outer walls are richly carved in bold bas relief and depict scenes from Ramayana. At the center of the Urdu Mandapa are four exquisitely carved and polished pillars of black stone with bas reliefs of Ganesha, Mahishasur Marudani, Hanuman and other forms of Vishnu. The ornate ceiling has the usual alternating square courses with finely carved lotus. Viru Paksha Temple The Viru Paksha Temple has been for centuries considered the most sacred of the temples at Hampi. It is situated on the northern bank of the Tunga Bhadra, immediately to the north of Himakuta Hill. The temple complex lies within a long rectangular enclosure divided into two large courts. The first most important structure to be seen in the Royal Citadel is the Queen's Bath. The Queen's Bath is a large square structure with a plain exterior and an ornate interior. It has a bath 15 meters square area and 1.8 meters deep. Surrounded by decorated corridors and projecting balconies, some remnants of elaborate stucco work and detailed variegated designs are visible on the ceiling of each bay. Lotus Mahal The Lotus Mahal is a two-storied structure with a blend of Indian and Islamic architectural styles. Originally, there appears to have been a large amount of lime plaster and stucco ornamentation along the exterior. The upper story has a number of balconies with windows having recessed and foliated arches. The superstructure consists of nine pyramidical shikharas of varying sizes, the central one being the tallest. In their original state, these were fully decorated, painted and covered with polished lime plaster work. Elephant Stables This long, lofty and dignified building is to the north of the Zanana enclosure. It has 11 large chambers with beautiful arched entrances. The domical ceilings of the chambers have lotus motifs and the four cardinal corners of the ceiling at the base of the dome are provided with pointed arched scrunches. The Hampi builders also included Islamic style arches in fortified gateways at some places. Hampi's historic ruins and temples made it an early site for offbeat tourism in the 1960s and then after. So the ruins of Hampi became an unforgettable experience.